Hi folks, I'm Max from GalaxyS4Root.com. Um, so I've got a quick ROM overview of the Blue Cuban uh, ROM Warrior Sprint Galaxy S4 and uh, working pretty well. This one actually ships with an ADW launcher. If you don't like that, uh, you can go ahead and install um, Nova Launcher or Apex Launcher. Um, you can get it on the market. Uh, this is a TouchWiz based ROM and uh, it has been uh, themed with a lot of blues over the stock colors here as you can see um, and let me show you around and you get the standard menus it looks slightly different it's the same menu uh, and also let me show you the the quick toggles here um, and also you'll see that this is really nice the drop down animation you see that blinking so that is nice and it's been stripped down, so you're not going to find any Samsung apps. This is for, you know, for those of you who want to kind of run stock. This is for those of you who want to kind of run a stripped down ROM uh, with no bloatware. And also lots of blue theming. Very nice ROM. And let me show you the heart of this ROM comes with the Cuban updater, which allows you to do additional uh, modding here. So we'll try one of these. Um, and uh, let's actually go to status bar mods. And you can actually change, uh, you can reverse the guy, the Android guy right here. Now it's on the left, blinking. You can move it to the right by downloading this and installing it. Uh, or you can change it to a Galaxy S4. Um, this is great as more mods are available for this ROM. It will show up in this uh, Gubin, Blue Cuban Updater. And also Blue Cuban Updater uh, developer of this ROM um, is actually a very good developer. I've used... Uh, you know his ROM for my Epic 4G Touch, which is the Sprint Galaxy S2, uh, and he has gotten this phone and obviously making some great ROMs. Um, there's not as many add-on uh, right now, but I'm sure there's going to be way more later down the line, and it's still a lot for uh, starting stages here. And also lots of boot animations here, and also battery mods. Now you'll notice with this ROM, um, the actual uh, battery. There's actually a battery bar up here. Now you can kind because of, of my light, it's hard to see. But um, let me turn it off if you can see it. There's a battery bar there. You can you can mess with that. Um, but basically, with the battery bar going across, you no longer need the battery, but you can add it back on using the uh, Cuban Updater app here. Um, so these are all the different mods you can do. You you can even swap out the kernel there. Of course, it does ship with a K-Tweaker kernel, so you will get K-Tweaker app that allows you to tweak um, your voltages here and stuff like that. And if you go here, if you enable OC steps, you'll be able to overclock all the way to 2.33 gigahertz. I don't recommend that. Uh, at most, 2.1 gigahertz should be plenty. Um, so that is nice. And it's looking a very nice ROM. I believe this has, yes, uh, ADW launcher. And uh, and you can do side rotation and unlock lock screen. Also, you can go sideways. Um, so that is nice. And uh, yeah, looking very good. So definitely check it out if this is something you're looking for. Your Sprint Galaxy S4. Uh, of course, this isn't for everybody, but um, for some of you who might want some of these features. And uh, yeah, the coolest part is this. Oh, actually, let's do try uh, one of the Cuban updaters here. And let's actually go switch it to the Galaxy S4 pull down image. So I'm going to go ahead and hit download there and it will automatically try to install it. Sometimes it will fail. Let me show you how to get around it. Uh, basically these apps will download uh, the new pull down zip files to a directory most likely called Kuban Updater. So it asks you would you like to reboot and install the pull down? Say yes. And this should work if you have a twerp recovery it should work fine, but um, sometimes it fails also. So let's go ahead and step it through so you know how to use it in case it fails. Um, there we go. And we are in Twerp. And this should actually install it automatically. Yes, it is installing automatically there. And watch for any errors there. It says done processing script file. Um, if it, everything goes well here, you don't have to mess with it and it'll reboot. But if it doesn't for some reason, uh, or if you're using uh, Clock Remote Recovery, try uh, installing from zip 
and uh, find the file. It's most likely under blue kuban updater directory. There should be a directory similar to that. And the zip file downloaded should be there so you can install it manually. So I didn't have to do that, um, do anything there. That's also the boot up animation. And boots up pretty darn quick here. And still booting up here. And let me go ahead and show you the new Galaxy S4 drop down. So that's kind of cool. Nice little, tra slightly transparent. Um, so check it out for this week's Sprint Galaxy S4 ROM of the Week, the Blue Cuban S4. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And as always, if you have a Galaxy S4, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS4root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button from here. Subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys soon. Stay high on Android.